This is a video about switching branches in Git. So if you're in Sigwin and you've changed directory into the odd job repo, then you can type git branch to see the name of the branch that you're currently on. And right now I'm on the branch f-020213 and I have another branch called master. And if I do git checkout master, then I'll switch to the branch master. And if I type um, git checkout f-020213, then it'll say that I've switched to the branch f020213. But what does that mean? Um, when you switch branches, when you tell git that you want to switch branches, what git will do is make it so that your files, the files in this list right here, Oops, uh, that's a lot of files. Let's see if we can clean that up. Um, the files in all of your uh, in your working directory. So all of these files are what are called the working working set of files. Um, switching a branch means that it will update those files to look like they looked the last time somebody made a commit on the branch. So in my case, the last time somebody made a commit on the branch f-020213 uh, was me just a little bit ago and I modified the readme file to have my nickname in it. And the master branch doesn't have that modification. So if I git checkout master and look at the readme file, then that change is gone. It's the same file I typed cat readme.txt both times, and in between them I switched from the branch f-020213 to the branch master and all that did was change this file so that it had uh, before it had my nickname and now it doesn't and um, so that's what git does when you ask it to check out a different branch it changes the files um, and it's very safe about this. If you have a modification that it doesn't um, have a way of safely switching, that, that prevents you from safely switching branches, uh, then it won't switch branches. And so a modification that would prevent you from switching branches safely uh, is something that Git wouldn't know how to undo. So an example of that would be if I change this line right here and add a different nickname right there, Git wouldn't know how to uh, make that mesh with having this nickname here. So I'll do that right now. Ah. Uh, um, go away. Alright, so I'll do that right now and I'll put a different nickname right here and just to show you I'll type git status and it'll say that I have that modified file and then I'll do a git diff and it'll show me that that file has a different name right there and if I do git checkout f020213 just like before um, this time it'll say that you have local changes that would be overwritten if git tried to make the readme look like it does on the other branch. If you, in this situation, you have a couple different options. You could commit your changes and then git would know how to um, change the file uh, readme.txt and later undo those changes because it would just be applying or unapplying the commits that are different between the master branch and the F020213 branch. Um, or you can stash your changes if you don't really want to commit them. 
um, or you can get rid of them entirely. And that last option is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use git checkout, but this time with a file name. And that will, if I type git status again, it'll show that I have the working directory is now clean because I've checked out the clean version of the file readme.txt. And so now Git knows how to make the changes to switch from the master branch to F-020213. Um, and it knows how to undo those changes because all of the changes are commits in Git. Um, so now I can type git checkout f-020213 and it'll do it. And if I show the contents of readme, it'll have the nickname that it had before. Um, and it knows how to undo it if I do git checkout master. Uh, and then I cat readme and the nickname is gone. And that is how to switch branches in git.